Marshall here, back again with the final episode of Build a Computer! Now, yes kids, this is the final episode, but now you can look forward to a new type of video transmission. From now on, until further notice, I'll be posting videos that aren't super long. Like these Build a Computer episodes, for example. Hmm... What's a good name for these shorter videos? I've got it! I'll call them shorts! Perfect. What do you think? Nice. I thought you would like that. So let's take care of some housekeeping, kids. First, I want to welcome anybody new here. Thank you for watching! And make sure you've seen the other videos on the channel to make sure that you're all caught up. And if you're not new here, welcome back. How's your week been? It's Friday. You have anything fun planned? You know, the weekend's coming up. It's, it's right around the corner. Awesome. Well, I have some plans too. I plan on making some shorts for you all to watch and learn from. It's gonna be a blast. All right, so let's review. So far, we've learned about random access memory, solid state drives, hard drive disks, motherboards, chassis, and power supplies. But not only that, we've compared each computer part to a part of your body to make it a lot easier to learn. Remember? Here, I'll refresh your memory. The SSD and the HDD are your long-term memory. Your RAM is your short-term memory. The chassis is like your skin. Your power supply is like your heart. And your motherboard is like the backbone of the whole rig. So... What could we possibly be learning about today? Hmm. Remember when I said in the last episode this would be the most fun part? Well, I definitely saved the best for last. That's right. Today, we'll be talking about the eyes of your computer. That's right, kids. Over the next few minutes, we're going to learn about your graphics processing unit, or otherwise known as your GPU. Are you ready? Well, let's begin. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, why is Marshall comparing this computer part to my eyes? That's so weird. I mean, come on, my eyes see. My GPU just sits there. And you're absolutely right. Your eyes do see. But let me ask you, how well do they see? Do you have perfect vision? Or do you need glasses like me? Well, hold on to that thought because I'm going to blow your mind. Just like how our eyes have different sight capabilities, depending on what type of GPU you have, determines the image quality on your screen. But I plan on going over that in a short of mine. Stay tuned. Let's break it down a little simpler. Let's take your favorite video game and the newest graphics processing unit out currently. And then let's max out the graphics settings in the game. You would be able to see and play your video game with excellent clarity and very minimal performance interruptions. Like, let's say, if you had glasses on or if you had perfect vision. It's also very important to know that all modern GPUs have RAM in them. Yes, that's right. Your GPU has short-term memory. And having RAM in it makes it easier to load up your favorite games without waiting as long as you did the first time. Okay, kids. <laughs> How do you feel? Because I feel like I've been talking a lot. <laughs> I tell you what. 
pause the video here, get something to drink and a snack, and meet me back here in a few minutes. And when you get back, we'll learn a bit more about GPUs. I'll even show you how to install this bad boy in your computer. All right, you all good? Perfect. Now sit back and watch this video. All right, kids, so here we have a PNY GeForce GT 1030 GPU. This GPU would be considered one of the lower, more affordable and low profile GPU to buy. Check out how small it is. Now let's check out the display port. Here we have an HDMI port, which will support up to 1080p on a good day. And we're gonna install it on our motherboard here, just like so. You saw how easy I was able to take this GPU out of the box and install it on the motherboard? Well, keep that in your brain while we talk about integrated and discrete. Now kids, integration simply means the act or process of uniting two different things. For example, your motherboard and a GPU. Why might someone unite these two computer parts? Well, kids, I'm sure we all know what this is, right? You may even use one for school. Well, the device that I was holding in my hand not too long ago, that was called a laptop. And as you can see, you would not be able to fit this GPU inside of this skinny laptop. This is a discrete GPU and it is installed separately. And this GPU can typically handle more advanced processes that you wanna run way better than a laptop. Like intense video games and video and audio creation. Which is exactly why the motherboard in this laptop and all laptops have an integrated GPU. The GPU, instead of being separate, is bonded on the motherboard. This is done for two reasons. The first one being that it would be very awkward to install the discrete GPU on to the motherboard of a laptop. Could you imagine carrying that awkward device? It would be bulging out so weirdly. And number two, most GPUs need a completely separate cooling unit for them to function properly. Well, that's all kids. Remember the golden rule, treat others how you would want to be treated. And look out for my new shorts videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching.